to monitor the media's lack of interest in the whole Maui story. I've been in this business for 30 years. I'm stunned, but I'm not surprised. The incident seems to be the story here, right? But the true story, the media knows it is not allowed to tell. Is it a coincidence that the Maui police chief is the same man who was in charge in Las Vegas during that massacre that killed 58 people? Is it a coincidence that the Maui property, owned by million and billionaires, wasn't touched by the flames while homes of the locals all burned? What she fails to also mention is how the media hasn't even once interviewed a grieving parent. Not a single parent looking for their children. Not a single interview with a child. Not a single interview with the schools. Was it a coincidence that the largest system of outdoor emergency sirens in the world never made a sound as the fire devoured Lahaina? Was it a coincidence that at the same time, very same time, all the water was turned off? Was it a coincidence that police were ordered to block off streets and to funnel all the cars trying to escape? Think about this coincidence. That governor also signed an emergency proclamation on July 17th, three weeks before the fire, about housing of all things. Is it a coincidence that the government put up a black fence around Lahaina or that the FAA grounded all drones from flying over the affected areas? Is it a coincidence that since at least 2011 there have been plans to make Maui the first smart city run by 100 percent renewable energy and that it must be a coincidence then that the locals whose homes did not burn are now being evicted from their property and of course a total coincidence that all the fact checkers who are checking these facts who say everything i just told you is just a coincidence are also owned and run by blackrock